Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the B1 Climax Finale here at Ring the Bell Wrestling. I'm, of course, Excalibur, just joined by nobody for the conclusion of the B1 Climax Tournament. And we're going to start it off with the B1 Eliminator. Here we go, folks. Of course, this matchup was brought to us thanks to a four-way tie for second place in the A block. Of course, A block having a lot of controversy uh, with the uh, removal of two superstars, both San Annie and Paige Inferno, our champion. Uh, both women leaving the block and therefore creating a little bit of chaos. And in the midst of that chaos, four women have ended their uh, campaigns with three and three records. Meaning that the winner of this matchup will face the winner, actually will just face Tiffany White later on in the night. I didn't mean to rhyme that. The best part about it, Tiffany White just gets to wait for her opponent. Wait to, and uh, because she's won, she's got that advantage. She also had that night seven bye. Which means she's going to be the most well-rested. Now, taking a look at Erie in the ring. Erie picked up her six points, not from any of her wins, but through San Annie's three victories. San Annie was 3-1 and one before her injury at the hands of poten potentially K-Storm. We don't know that for certain. Oh, but here we go. Introducing her first opponent... In the A bracket, it's Tiffany Love, one half of the Women's Tag Team Championships, champions rather. Uh, she's hoping to go and face off against her tag team partner in the semifinals. Tiffany Love wins, she'll be meeting her partner Tiffany White, and then the two of them can go at it for the fi for that spot in the finals. This should be very interesting to see which of these four women will be making their appearance, their first appearance uh, in the finals. Of course, this being our first ever B1 Climax tournament. But of course, all of the, uh, everybody else, if you didn't make it, you're in a battle royal later on tonight. We have five matches tonight. We have this B1 Eliminator. We have the court, we have this, both semifinals matches. We have a six woman battle royal. And then we have ourselves the finale uh, between whoever wins all of these early matches. So Angel Sapphire, Sammy Stone, Casey Joe. No, Casey Joe's in this matchup. Uh, Eve Sparks is in that match. The rest of the field will be competing. And here, oh, there's Casey Joe. A little bit too far ahead of myself here. Casey Joe picking up six points as well. As all of these women have. Let me pull up the bracket real fast because we haven't even, I mean. We haven't we don't really have a need to completely go over everything. But we can talk about who these women have victories over. Casey Joe. Uh, picking up wins against Sammy Stone. Against uh, K Storm. And against Tiffany Love. Who you see there in that match. And Tiffany Love, speaking of her. Picked up wins against Sammy Stone, against Erie to qualify, and then against her tag team partner, Tiffany White, in the opening matchup of the tournament. Winning by countout. Oh, and here comes the fourth woman. Has to be one of the more hated individuals. Definitely made a name for herself as a heel coming out of this tournament. It's K Storm. And K Storm has defeated. Uh, Paige Inferno, Sammy Stone, and Tiffany Love to qualify for this matchup. She has also gone 3-3. Three and three. And of course, we talked earlier, Erie has not picked up a victory in her two matches. However, did inherit those Sammy, uh, those San Annie victories from earlier on in the season. And you'd have to think, if it wasn't for potentially this woman, 
San Andy might even be here competing tonight. We have no idea for certain. What I do know is we have ourselves a heck of an eliminator coming up next. And here we go, folks. Who do you guys think is going to walk away and move on to the semifinals of the B1 Climax here in the A block? Is it Erie? Is it Tiffany Love? Casey Joe? Or K Storm? Time to find out here who is going to be moving on. Should be very interesting. Big clothesline here. Of course, it being Eliminator, it is not one fall of the finish. You need to be pinned to be eliminated. We're not leaving anything up to chance, anything up to fate. If you are pinned, you are done in this tournament from here on out. I mean, if you're pinned in the semifinals, if you're pinned in the finals, you're done. If you're pinned in this match, you're done. Whatever woman can come out on the other end without being pinned for the rest of the night will become the number one contender for Paige Inferno and the winner of the B1 Climax. Here we go. And a nice bridge there. From K-Storm, only getting a one count on Love. Love retreats to the outside and a big hook and suplex there. And Eerie going to take down K-Storm. Again, Storm has come out to be one of the more hated individuals out of this tournament. Injuring the, the fan favorite, San Annie, on her Cinderella tail. Who knows how far Annie would have gotten in this tournament if it wasn't for Storm. That's for sure. Here we go. Casey, Joe... Tiffany Love on the outside. And a nice butterfly suplex into the bridge. And only a two count there. As Storm working on Eerie. Eerie looking for her first pinfall victory. Normally in a tag team. Alongside her partner Backland. Uh, but Eerie getting the call up. Into this tournament. And Eerie looking for her first singles victory. Here we go, big whip on the outside. A nice northern light suplex from Storm. Into the one count there. And here we go. Let's see what Erie now gonna Irish whip Storm. And a big back four. Oh, wait a sec. Love going for a weapon. She's got a steel chair on the outside. It's smart. There's no disqualifications, even in this elimination matchup. So Love would be at an advantage if she was to w use this chair. Uh-oh. Casey's got the chair, though. Casey Joe swinging for the fences with a home run shot to Tiffany Love. Oh, Love, though. A oh, float over. DDT on the chair. Tiffany Love with that DDT to the steel chair on the floor. Casey Joe doesn't know where she is now. And Tiffany Love now using this advantage here to now work on Eerie on the outside, on the inside as Storm now going for the, uh, what has to be injured, Casey Joe. Uh-oh, pulling the arm on the inside, Joe now trying to, oh, Joe with the sidestep. And now Storm going for something here, big shot into the, the barricade, Eerie now has Love up. Twist around, going up and under. Pump handle, power slam there. Modified pump, pump up paddle bomb. Love though, uh oh. We've seen this, one arm DDT. Uh oh, but Storm back in with the takedown. Of course Storm being a little bit lower to the, the, to the ground there with that lower form of gravity. Uh oh, big Huracan Rana. Uh oh. There's the counter, and Eerie breaks it up. Don't know why she did in this elimination matchup. Maybe she's just a little bit used to it not being elimination style. Uh oh, Irish whip now. Oh, Casey Joe distracts K Storm, just sends Eerie running. Two and no. Oh. Uh oh, wait a sec, slipping up and under. Boston Crab locked in. Beautiful counter. Just slides out under the legs. 
Basically, Meg's K Storm and Storm able to break free. Storm's got a bit of a uphill battle here. Seems like she's going three on one here against these three. Casey Joe now into the cover. Hook of the leg only a one count. Oh, black hole slam from Erie into the cover. Doesn't hook the leg, and that's going to cost her. We saw that last time. Uh oh, wait a sec. Casey Joe has her up. Air raid crash. One, two, and no. We saw Erie do that black hole uh, spine buster last time. That one was a black hole slam. That side slam. A little bit different than normal. And, uh oh. Hooking her and oh my goodness! The Superstorm 2 and no! Oh. Not the, the Cyclone! Big running knee there from Love. The Cyclone only hits for two. We saw her debut that last time out. Tiffany Love now. Oh, misses the elbow drop. And a big running shot there. Nope, just kidding. Dodge and hit with that short order kick. Oh, Erie now back in the ring trying to do some damage here. Uh-oh, has her in the powerbomb position and a beautiful powerbomb. Erie's got the height on her. That's for certain. Of course, later on tonight, you will also see Cora Reeves and the Sultan... Mix it up in this battle royal before their big matchup at the Salami Awards. Coming up next Tuesday on Ring the Bell Wrestling. And here we go. She has that Anaconda Vice locked in on Erie. That's going to be it. Erie's fading. Erie's fading big time. No, Erie gets out of it. Oh, and Casey Joe into the cover on the other side of the ring and a kick out at two. Jeff the ref not in position to see that pinfall. Casey had her for a lot longer. Oh, there you go. The counter there from Erie. Erie now. Hook of the arm. Russian leg sweep. Now Casey Joe, Northern Lights. Not gonna not gonna keep the bridge though. Uh-oh, she's got that stick! The kendo stick. Working to her advantage now. Tiffany Love trying to stop it before Casey Joe gets too much momentum from that kendo stick. Uh-oh. Love and it puts her in the tree of woe. Storm has a kendo stick of her own. And there's a big clothesline. Uh-oh. The chair now being introduced. Oh, Casey Joe has her in the fireman's carry. Snake eyes. Oh my goodness, the big stretch is. K I thought K Storm just tapped right there. Is she not tapping? No, she gets out of it. Jeff the ref into the cover on the other side of the ring, and it's only a two count. There you go, Storm hits the Northern Lights. But Casey gonna take the kendo stick from her. It's always smart to get the weapon out of your opponent's hand. Oh, love now. Oh, hooking her up with a butterfly suplex. Hook of the leg. Two and three. <laughs> Tiffany Love takes advantage of Erie not paying attention. And sneaks away a three count. And a big discus shot from K Storm. Storm now has the kendo stick. That could be it. Into the cover. One, two, and no. K Storm stopping Casey Joe with the chair there. Did not want. To see her with that chair. 
And now into the cover, hook of the far leg. Two and three, that's it. Storm now, uh oh, Storm catches her into the Cyclone. Is that gonna be it? Two and three. And ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the semifinals, K Storm. Unbelievable air raid crash there from Joe. The first Cyclone. There you go. There's that Northern Lights we saw earlier from Tiffany Love. Two and three. And then you can see the Cyclone one more time. And K-Storm moving on to tonight's semifinals. She's going to have to win three matches tonight if she wants to walk away with that briefcase. And we will see if she can do so. awaits a new generation. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. For those of you that want to know what we're all about, it's like this, y'all. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% And here we go, folks. It is time now for the first of two semifinal matches as K Storm rests up for hers. It's time to see who's going to walk away here with the Block B Championship. Is it going to be Britt Balor? Or is it going to be Rebecca Wicked? Here we go, folks. So far in this tournament, Brittany has picked up eight points. She started out 0-2 and won her next four straight, defeating her tag team partner, Sarah, Rebecca Wicked's tag team partner, Eve Sparks, Kelsey Patton, and Angel Sapphire. In her four wins, she has looked really impressive, turning up the heat. Needless to say, of course, she started out 0-2. Didn't like where she was at in the tournament and has now come back as a semi-finalist. Looking to pull off the upset on a woman who has not been beaten so far in this tournament. And here comes her opponent. No music. All business. Rebecca Wicked and normally I would say something how that no music is just lazy or bad luck But honestly, I'm not gonna question anything this woman's done so far She has absolutely knocked it out of the park 12 straight points six straight victories Here in the B1 climax defeating Brit earlier on in week one Defeating Sarah, defeating her tag team partner Eve Sparks, Kelsey Patton, the Sultan, and Angel Sapphire, all to pick up a perfect score of 12. And now Rebecca Wicked looking to keep the perfect streak alive in this semi final matchup. And here we go, folks. Jeff the Ref is ready to go. Who do you guys think is winning this matchup? Is it Britt Balor or is it Rebecca Wicked? Feel oh, wait a second, look at that. Weapon X to start it off. 
Who do you think's winning this matchup? Let me know in the comments section to the right of your screen. Is it Brittany or is it Becca? Of course, it's it won't hurt to bet on Rebecca Wicked in this one. She has gone a perfect six for six since starting off this tournament. Definitely one of the better records in undefeated streaks. In Ring the Bell Wrestling, to, to, to my understanding. I don't know of many people who have won six matches in a row, six singles matches in a row, other than maybe like the Dawn. Uh, I mean, obviously the Prestige won a lot of tag matches, but as far as the women's division, I have not seen a woman as dominant as Rebecca Wicked so far in this tournament. Here we go, spinning around and a nice neck breaker from Brittany, but I think if anybody can do so, I think Brittany has a good shot at this. She had a really good chance of getting that three count. But she missed that second double moonsault from the top rope and Wicked was able to capitalize with that Wicked KOD. So I wouldn't be surprised here if Brittany, th oh, a nice split. If Brittany has her number. Either way, both of these women have had time to scout each other. Get ready for this matchup. Of course, Tiffany White won't have that advantage. She just found out who her opponent was going to be. Um, but should be interesting to see here. Let's go. Oh, Brittany now. Nice, beautiful moonsault into the reverse DDT. Into the cover. Hook of the far leg. Jeff the ref in good position and only a two count. Oh, there we go. Going to land it again. Another DDT. We've seen Brittany go. When she goes, she goes. Beautiful running kill switch. She's going to get her up. Here it is. Oh, that big forearm shot. Could have done it. And Rebecca Wicked now. Irish whip. The last. Picking her up. Pop, pop, power bomb into the cover. Hook of the far leg. But only a one count. Brittany saying no thank you. Oh. And Wicked saying no thank you. Just suplexing her inside out. Uh oh, bicycle knee. Poison Rana. The bicycle knee to the Poison Rana. We've seen that move set up for that Wicked KOD. And Brittany having to exert a little bit more energy in that kick out. Here we go. Irish whip. Rebecca Wicked with a nice kung fu kick there. Looking like Hall of Famer Kung Fu Naki. Oh, Wicked now. Big Haluva kick to the outside. A big boot sending Brittany out to the floor. And now... Wicked can do just a little bit more damage. Every single move on that floor hurts even more than it would in the ring. I know Brittany has her up. Knee breaker. Or back breaker across her knee. My apologies there. Rebecca Wicked now trying to get the action back in the ring. Oh. Brittany nearly caught her. Uh-oh, Brittany though. Sneaks around and a nice sidewalk slam. Oh, but Wicked pops right up. Brittany catches her. Lands a double knee shot. And here we go. Wicked trying to capitalize off that kick and it's only a two count. So here we go. Wicked now. Uh-oh. We've seen this before. Wicked. No! No! Balor gets out of it. Balor able to strike her on the forehead. Nice neck breaker. And now Brittany's going to have to keep her on the mat if she wants to hit that double moonsault. There we go, using the body. On that. Oh, big high kick. Splits. She hits the splits. 
Into the cover, hook of the far leg. Two, and no. Oh, Brittany not wasting any time. Up to the top rope. Here it comes, folks. The double moonsault. Bear no. Rebecca Wicked rolls out of the way just in time. Brittany misses the double moonsault. And what has to be so much whiplash on that move. That's what does so much damage to your opponent. That's why you do flips. Not, be, not only because it looks cool, but that extra spinning and rotation creates different angles at which your body strikes your opponent. And now Brittany giving herself whiplash there on that move. Can't be good. That's not a good sign. You hate to see anybody miss a 630 or that double backflip or a 720. Any sort of high flying maneuver with a lot of twists because that's going to cause significant amount more damage to yourself. And that high Kung Fu Naki kick to the outside. That's Jeff the Ref going to have to restart the count. Going to get Brittany back in the ring and Sorry if my tone's just a little bit, uh, a little bit more deflated, but I love a good underdog story. I love what Brittany has gone for so far. Oh, look at that forward dodge. Perfect dodge there. Brittany now, oh, going under. Is she going to go over? No. Goes under again. Floating around neck breaker. And lands the side slam. Wicked now going to use the ropes to try to propel herself back up. Here we go. Uh-oh. Here it is, folks. The wick. No! A second dodge. Brittany dodges that move again. She has a telegraphed two and a kick out at two. She has that move. Picture perfect there. Gets out of that wicked KOD twice. Now we're going to line her up. Big knee shot. And now we're going to try to ground her. Trying to keep Rebecca Wicked grounded. Might be one of your better shots. At this stage in the game, yes, Morse work to the knee. Uh oh. And a nice package. Driver there. Beautiful package driver. Uh oh. And another backbreaker. And here it is. I think she's ready to try one more time. Turn around. Double moonsault. One, two, three. Brittany has done it. Holy moly. Brittany, finally, somebody has pinned Rebecca Wicked. Unbelievable matchup here. Already our first upset. You saw that that running kill switch. You saw the splits. And she couldn't hit that KOD. Brittany countered both and hit the double moonsault to cash her ticket to the finals of the B1 Climax. Is Brittany going to be the one to walk away with the briefcase? I mean... She has a great shot. We'll have to see what happens. we got one more match to decide that. Let's take a quick commercial break. And we'll be back with our second of two semi-final matches. But your winner, Britt Balor. JK LOL Rafflegasm. It is time for our second semi-final matchup right out of the gate. It's Tiffany White taking on K Storm. And here we go, folks. It's time to decide right here and now. Who's moving on to the finale? And here she comes, folks. She has been... An absolute unit 
in this tournament. Tiffany White, one half of the Ring the Bell Wrestling Women's Tag Team Champions. And let's take a look at her victory history here in the B1 Climax. Tiffany White picking up points against the champ in that champion versus champion matchup, Paige Infernum. She picked up two points against Sammy Stone. She defeated Erie to mark her 10 points. Not Sammy, not, not San Annie. Uh, she did lose, her only loss so far in the tournament has been by count out to her tag team partner, Tiffany, uh, Tiffany Love. So White has not been pinned up to this point. Of course, she also picked up huge victories against Casey Joe and a victory against this woman coming out in just a few moments, Case Storm. But yes, a lot of people giving love to Brittany in the chat. Of course, a fan favorite. You gotta love it. Five straight victories for Brittany. And one of these two women are hoping it's not six. They're hoping to stop it at five. Here it comes for the second time tonight. The Pearl River Plunger. The one-eyed warrior, K-Storm. Making her way down to the ring now. You might not like her, but now she has pinned. She pinned two other women in that matchup. She pinned Tiffany Love and Casey Joe to cement her spot in the semifinals. Of course, meaning now at this point, she's basically pinned everybody in the tournament except for Tiffany White. Everybody in her block, she has pinned at one point in time. So here we go, folks. Your second of two semifinal matches. Tiffany White, K-Storm, who do you guys think is walking away as a semi-final winner? And who's going to be going to the back to take a well-needed break as their tournament ends? Is it K-Storm? Is it Tiffany White? Let me know in the chat to the right. Big boot there from Tiffany White. Starting off strong. We've seen her come away early in these matches, picking up the offense early. Kind of letting Storm make her way back in. White now trying to get this crowd on her side. It won't take them that much. These people do not like K-Storm right now. Here we go. Into the cover. Hook of the far leg. And it's only a one count. There we go. White rolls out of the ring. Trying to psych herself up. K-Storm follows, however. And a big back suplex. Love uh, White popping right back up. The nice combination of kicks. Going to do a significant amount of damage there on the outside. And here we go. White. You know, she's only, again, has not been pinned. Has not been submitted. Has only been counted out in this B1 Climax tournament. This round robin style. And so K-Storm will do something that nobody has done in their block, and that is pin Tiffany White in singles competition. Yeah, we saw Britt Balor do the what we thought was the impossible earlier by being the first woman to pin Rebecca Wicked this season, and now K Storm looking to do the same and take out this one seed. And here we go. Scoop slam time. Nice. And hooks the arm too. A little bit extra damage there. You see her shaking off that left arm. That's going to be hard to get in those finishing maneuvers. Nice kick though. That's not going to affect her, uh, her arms. That's for sure. Love now with the forearm shot. Storm rolling to the outside trying to get some space. White going to meet her there. But that was probably a mistake. This K-Storm is waiting for her. And going to stretch her out on the floor. After slamming her down. 
directly afterwards. Folks, once again, the poll is ready in the chat. Who do you guys think is winning this opening contest? Here we go, big kick. And a Russian-like sweep on the outside. From Tiffany White. White with the ground and pound. Trying to keep the offense on Storm. Of course, Storm has already gone through one match tonight. Tiffany White had a bye in, we in night seven. So she's even more rested. But honestly, I mean, K-Storm hasn't had a break since week three. That might be her advantage in this match. She's already warm. It's like putting a putting a pitcher in and giving them some, uh, get, letting them throw some bullpen beforehand, try to get warmed up. And, and you know, K Storm has been on the mound essentially for five innings now, five straight matches. Tiffany White gonna try to come in and close this. Sorry for using baseball analogies for those of you not familiar with the game or. Anybody from Newcastle upon time or Dublin, Ireland, or anywhere in the world you may be. Frankfurt. Uh-oh. Storm Drain. Our international audience. We're always thankful from wherever you're watching. And that's it. And here we go, folks. Forgot to cut that. And here we go. K-Storm now has her up. Big right-hand shot. Uh-oh. Spin around. Nice. Beautiful cutter there. The referees restarted the matchup. Jeff the ref in perfect position. Two and three. Unbelievable. K-Storm from out of nowhere. He gets the match reset on her. And she loses. Tiffany White picking up the victory. I don't know where that beautiful cutter maneuver there. Boom. What's that? One more time. And Tiffany White with 10 points adds another victory and she's going to move on to the finals. And wow, what we thought was going to be K Storm's victory, I guess we're going to get official confirmation of what happened there. But K Storm is not moving on to the finals, and it is Tiffany. My granny called, she said, Travi, you work too hard. I'm worried you forget about me. I'm falling in and out of cause don't worry, I'ma get it, granny. What happened now? My daddy happy. Mama called me up. That money coming and she love me. I didn't made it now. I didn't find like meaning now. All them days are hard to break. Her heart out in pieces now. Friends turning into fraud niggas. Practice it. Have the passion. You niggas package different. All you niggas. You niggas want the swag. You can have it. I'm a seller. You niggas salary about the cabbage. Youngest nigga out of Houston at the Grammys. Smiling at him, laughing at me. I pass a rock the yeah, he pump fake the pass it back, bitch. All of this off a rabbit. Should've wrote this in Latin. Yeah. Mm, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Guzzle said we in the stove. Yeah, we about to drop a four. He passed a cigarette, I choke. Told my auntie, put them poles down, them poles down. Now you know you love your own now. Hit the stage, they got their hands up. Don't put your nose down. I ain't knocking, nigga, I knock the door down for sure now. Whole crew, I swear they counting on me. Gold chains, gold rings, I got an island on me. Houses on me, he got the mouses on him. Holy Father, come save me, niggas, I'm styling on him. Good Lord, I see my good fortune in all these horses. I'm driving too fast to stop, so all these signs, I ignore them. Just the sky from north of the border. My chest is in order. My mom's biggest supporter, so now nah, niggas support it, nigga. And here we go, folks. While we get our semifinalists ready to go for our main event, it is time for a battle royal. Sammy Stone, Cora Reeves, Angel Sapphire, The Sultan, Eve Sparks, and Sarah already in the ring. Let's get it on. And here we go, folks. Nothing special on the line here other than redemption. As all of these women have fallen short of their goals. 
of making it to the semifinals or making it to that B that uh, that B1 eliminator match earlier on. So all of these women are looking for just a bit of momentum to take out of this tournament. So you would think, after not coming away with a victory, you need something positive to come out of these seven days. And I mean, you think of people like Cora Reeves who came out of nowhere with a huge Uh, sorry, with a huge victory in her debut. Couldn't win the second time, but showing up strong. Oh. One second here. I'm getting a call here from the GM. All right, folks, we're back. Sorry, I'm trying to get confirmation of what happened in that main event. Or on that, that semi-final matchup. And I'm being told that there has been footage leaked from some cameramen in the back that has proven, apparently, that she was behind the attack after all. So, uh, I guess uh, they, they had to restart the match for some reason. But either way, seems like there's been no eliminations in this matchup so far. There we go, big Northern Lights suplex. A counter there by Cora. And so far, each of these six women just about evenly paced, evenly matched up. We have no idea who's gonna walk away with the momentum at the end of this. As we're getting our main event set up, we're also doing some big contract stuff in the back. So promise, uh, I, I apologize. If I seem like I have three different things going on back here, it's because I do. <laughs> Just trying to get Tiffany White back here to sign this contract for the main event. Okay, and it looks like we're good to go on the contract front. But who do you guys think is walking away with a victory tonight? Of course, now the poll's gonna go up, so. You're welcome, people. If that's what you guys were waiting on. There we go. Yeah, okay. Uh, Tiffany White had to go to the bathroom. But that's perfectly okay. Big clothesline there from the Sultan. Here we go now, Sapphire in the corner. The Sultan trying to do some... Sultan has been one of the more impressive individuals in my mind over this B1 Climax. And, uh oh, Cora now has Sammy up. And, uh oh, has her tilted. And a little bit more pressure, no. Oh, wait a sec, though. Sa Sammy holding on by an arm and can't hold on anymore. Cora Reeves with the first elimination of the match.
Big boot there from Sapphire. Uh-oh, Eve Sparks has her. Exploder! She just uh, took the Sultan over with a huge Exploder suplex. And Eve has eliminated the Sultan. And we are down to four. Oh, Cora though. Oh, Cora, don't know who she was aiming for. Oh my god. Oh, and a beautiful bouncer off the middle rope from Sapphire. And a half and half with a pile driver on the other side of the ring. These two are going at it. Eve Sparks. Of course, we go over these four women. Eve Sparks had four points. No, she had six points in her bracket, but it didn't mean much. The Sultan had six points. Angel Sapphire had four. Sarah still looking for her first victory of the tournament. And Cora only picking up a victory, inheriting two points from Paige. And a nice exploder there. And a nice package. There you go, Eve Sparks with the eliminate, uh, almost with the elimination there. Here you go, beautiful neck breaker there from Sarah. Oh, Sarah now trying to eliminate Sapphire. Uh oh, has her hooked up. Exploder! And now we're down to three. Sarah with the elimination. We're down to the final three, folks. Cora with a big boot. Eve Sparks meeting minds again. These two women just running back and forth into each other. Beautiful northern lights from Sarah. But Sparks has her up. Suplex. Uh oh, oh, the disarmer. That's Sarah's move. Normally you see Sarah doing the disarmer. And Eve trying to rub it in. Of course, you can't get a submission in this matchup but here we go Cora bringing her over to the ropes oh Sarah though bouncing back off him trying to stay alive in this matchup with the German suplex with one arm nearly Sparks now shoots her into the ropes over go behind Tiger suplex Cora now coming back Cora in control Cora's been one of the more impressive two women, and there's a big clothesline from Sparks. Of course, Eve Sparks holds a singles victory over Paige Infernum from last season. Would love to pick up some momentum to get another shot against her one-on-one, -on -one, with this time with the title being on the line. Here you go, Sarah now breaking out. Uh-oh. Eve Sparks, no! Eve Sparks pulls the rug out from under Sarah, and we're down to two. Cora and Eve. Cora, though, setting her up. Big super kick, and it's over! Cora Reeves with an impressive victory. Picking up a huge win and a ton of momentum going into her matchup with the Sultan at the Slammies. An unbelievable victory there. Big super kick from Cora. And that is going to seal it here for the undercard. Cora Reeves, your winner. When we come back, we will have the live finale of the B1 Climax.
Alrighty, folks, we are back, and it is now time for the finale of the B1 Climax. As I get the logo out of the way, it is Tiffany White and Brittany one on one, mano y mano. And here we go, folks. No entrances. I don't know why they're not on, but here we go. Big opening blow there to the knee. Of course, Britt Balor. Uh-oh, wheelbarrow suplex. And another suplex. Brittany going to try to start it off strong with a couple of big suplexes and a neckbreaker to follow. She's got to strike while the iron's hot. That's for sure. Big stomps to Tiffany. And folks, who do you think is winning this matchup? Is it Britt? Is it Tiff? Let me know in the comment section to the right of your screen. And a fir the first offensive move there from White with that bicycle knee. And here we go. Time to slow it down, folks, with the special there. Oh, yeah. Raking away on the hand here. Now, the interesting thing about this matchup is that both of these women... Oh, there's the sound. So I'm trying to find the sound here for you guys. Both of these women... There they are. Our tag team competitors, Tiffany White. Of oh my goodness, a beautiful spinning tope there. So you've seen Tiffany White, one half the women's tag team champions here in Ring the Bell. Brittany, one half of hugging and kicking. Uh, a, a nice, you know, a, a pretty stable tag team here in Ring the Bell Wrestling. Both of these tag team competitors are fighting it out. For an opportunity at the singles championship. And if White wins, she can even become a double champ. And how would that look on paper, you know? Here we go. Nice. Knee breaker there. Going to try to drive the crown of that kneecap into the mat. White now counters. Going to have her up here. Nice knee to the gut again. A second knee to the gut. White going to try to do some damage here to the midsection of Brittany. And a nice combination of kicks. The educated feet of Tiffany White coming in there. And a nice standing leg drop. Now here we go. Brittany shoots her into the ropes. Going to go under. Nice combination. An almost lethal combination. Uh-oh. Spanish fly. One... Two, no. Only a two count on that Spanish fly. Brittany now. Let's see what she has in store here. Uh, big backbreaker. And a big high kick. And here we go. She's setting it up. Is she going to be able to knock it out of the park right away? We saw this earlier. Double moonsault. Into the cover. Hook of the far leg. Two and no. Oh. The double moonsault connects, but it's not enough. She lands pretty. Lands a second split. Oh, and the split misses that time. And now White. Uh-oh. We've seen this. Neck breaker. Spin it into the last chancery. Beautiful submission. Oh, she's a little close to the ropes. We'll see if Brittany can can wiggle over there. And no, she's just going to be able to break the grip. Way to break the grip there. And now, uh oh, jawbreaker. Big pump kicks to the nose. 
Uh oh. Right, here we go, working on that back. And now again, White trying to slow the match down. Trying to ground the aerial assassin. That is Brittany. I don't know. She's setting up for it. Here it is. We've seen this. Spinner over and a cutter. Hook of the far leg. That can be it. No. Brittany kicks out now. Both women now kicking out of their, each other's finishers. So now it's anyone's game. Big suplex. Brittany pose into the crowd. Uh-oh. Terrible timing and a nice punt kick to the back. Tiffany White knowing when it's when it's time to pose. Going to get a little boost from the fans here. Nice combination. Series now elbow kick and a nice running knee with a little bit of momentum behind it. An extra step. Really adds a bunch of pep. Uh-oh. White now up to the top. Having Brittany get up. What is she going for? Diving axe handle to the floor. Here we go. White now. Oh, White countered. Nearly going face first into those steel steps. Now, Brittany trying to get this match back in the ring. Saying, Tiffany, come on in. Uh oh, wait a second. Oh, no. No water in the pool from Brittany. Brittany trying to recover. Getting a little bit of space. Uh oh. Tiffany catches her and a pump knee. That ripcord pump. Nice counter there. Here we go. Irish whip now getting her back in the ring. Uh oh, but catches her into another cutter. Into the cover, Jeff the ref in perfect position. Two and three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and the new number one contender and winner of the B1 Climax, Tiffany White. Look at that double moonsault. Perfectly landed. Unbelievable. Huge effort there. A beautiful comeback from Brittany in this tournament. But Tiffany White is going to walk away with the briefcase as your winner of the B1 Climax Tournament. Wow, what a match to end on too. Fantastic. And we will see what happens here and when she's going to cash in on that championship opportunity. So keep watching. Ring the Bell Wrestling. We'll just you will find out when we do when it is time for Tiffany White versus Paige Infernum. Although you gotta give props to Brittany. One heck of a of a of a main event there. She came back five straight victories in this tournament. Defeating Rebecca Wicked. And unfortunately just not enough left in the tank. To pull it all away. Either way, folks, your winner, Tiffany White. And we'll have to end it there, folks. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I've been Excaligus. And we'll see you guys at the next one. Actually, in eight days, we'll see you for the Slammy Awards.